Hi guys, it's Damaris. I wanted to show you a mini album that I completed um, a week or two ago. This was for a swap on LSH. And um, the, the theme was to uh, send your partner um, all the supplies that they're going to need to complete a mini. And um, if whatever they don't use, they send it back. So, um, I haven't had a chance to record this, been so busy doing other things, but um, now I wanted to show you, finally, what I did. So, um, she sent me, oh, and my partner was Jamie, you know her on YouTube as Lovely Mom N3, and um, we've had such a great time exchanging messages and updating each other on what's going on with our minis and so she really challenged me because she sent me paper bags and I had no idea how to use paper bags um, I had heard of it but um, I just didn't I didn't know what to do so I did what I knew what I could do and this is what I'm going to show you so this is the cover and um, everything you see here minus a couple things was from what she sent me I added this title key to my heart and I inked it up with some alcohol ink I added this wild orchid craft flower I don't remember if this was hers or not but um yeah I added this one I might have added this one too I inked up the key she sent me chipboard key this is all her bling and her her uh, rosette. There's a brown rosette down here, and this um, this um, velvet pleated trim and this lace. Everything she sent me. And so um, this is the cover. So on the side here, I made a charm for her. She she says she forgot to send me some stuff, so I went ahead and I just made from what I have. She sent me the bauble. And um, I added a heart. I added this um, gorgeous, like a looks like a tiger print charm. I added a house. I added a peace sign, and I made a little kind of like a little angel right here with some Swarovskis. It's a blue and orange and some wings. So this is the charm, and it 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 um it holds on one of these Tim Holtz. I'm sorry, Giovanni's playing with his toys. It holds on one of these um, Tim Holtz clips. It says ideas on it. And um, all these fibers were hers. So I put them on the binding. And so this is the cover. Let me see if I can get you a better look of what it looks like. A better view. So I had to bind it like this because it was so huge. So this is how it opens up. And the first two pages, let me see if I could, if I could back the camera up to show you. These are the first two pages, and on this side I added a photo mount, um, stamped some different types of stamps from what I have here, stamped this butterfly. There's a few tags in here that I made. I made this postcard uh, tag. She could add pictures. Um, this I printed out from um, something digital and then I added a key stamp to the back. This is from a Kane Company journaling um, book that I have so I just added, cut that down and I added that and then I made this tag here with added some bling. I embossed it and I think this is from the Pink Paisy Butterfly Garden stamp set is what this is from. added some trim. So, um, it goes in here, and then on this side, there's some bling at the bottom here, very simple bling, a photo mount, and then this pulls out here, it's another tag, she could add pictures or some journaling, and then there's lace trim and some of this, I really like this really small gold, um, how you call it? Gold um, trim, I guess you could say. Hello! Jill's, Jill's learning how to play hide and seek, that's why. No, no, don't touch the camera. No, you don't touch the camera. 
And then on the side of this page, a tag pulls out like that. Let me pick up the camera. So this tag pulls out and it looks like this. There's a gem at the top. She sent me these beautiful gems that I was able to use. And then the back has a key with, this is a rub on, it says in perfect harmony. So she wanted me to make her a family themed uh, mini album. So that's what I did. This is the next page, or the next two pages. And what I did was I made my own flower here this brown flower let's get a close-up of that this this is white hydrangeas and I folded it four times four different hydrangeas I folded it four times using tattered angels coffee shop sprayed it over um, this is a recollection flourish that I added this is something I printed out and added myself oh I wish it could come out and I wish I was showing it to you Alright, never mind. I'm going to have to, um, anyway, it's just a little tag that you can pull out. Some bling, and then this opens up here, and, um, it says All You Need Is Love as the title. So it opens up, and there's a photo mount there. A little, um, this tag pulls out. If I could just, sorry. I could just get it to anyway it it pulls out and then there's a, a photo mount here it says together and then down here there's another photo mount so this is cute little and then this piece here it's just a little tag that I a little triple piece that I um added and then over here, I added a ticket, Tim Holtz, some of this gold flourish that she sent me, Prima Bling. Um, this piece I, I just cut off from um, a trim she sent, a photo mount, left it completely blank for her. And then this tag pulls out, and it looks like this. Cute little bird that I inked up, and I added a little wing with that trim she sent. Here's some, um, this is a, 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 an array of different stamps here. I think this is um, Pink Plazies, Butterfly, and so the back, it's, it's empty, and it goes back in the pocket. And a lot of the tag, um, a lot of the bag items, um, what am I saying? A lot of the bag minis I've seen leave this open but I decided to close up the edges to seal them closed so this is the next um, pages and on this side I put uh, some photo corners for the photo mount added some um, lace here and trim wild orchid crafts used um, some of her items I think this is a recollections resin flower that I used that I added. There's a pearl center butterfly. There's a green leaf and um, some pearls at the bottom here that I added. And then here's this piece of um, this is like a like a charm, but it hangs from a um, ribbon that she sent me. So I just cut it off and added it here. And then on this side. I, um, instead of adding these half pages and gluing them down to this page here and making a pocket, what I did was I, let, I left it free so that it could create its own pocket and I um, photo mounted this uh, circle piece that you can get at a dollar, the coasters. So I did that, I added a tag, I tagged up um, this piece of paper with a, um, a stamp that I printed and then that's a butterfly that I blinged up in the front and then that's one on the back so she could add either journaling or pictures she could also add pictures to this cover right here and then on the back it's the same it's this gold 
And the collection she sent me was Trade Winds. She sent me the Trade Winds color by DCWV. So here we have another section. More flowers. This is a Carla um, S001 flower that I got a while ago. Here's some um, a photo mount. And this is some bling on the side. Over here we have a pearled um, butterfly. I... I, I put two together and then I added this flat back pearl left the pieces on top for the ant for the antennas here's some tags so there's a, a, a chair tag and then I stamped the back with a prima stamp for some journaling here's another tag and that's blank and then in here this is a Tim Holtz glassing envelope, so you open and she could add more pictures or anything she wants inside of there. So everything pulls out of this backing. Here's another tag I made, and this one slides open. Let's see if you could see that. It slides open so she could add a picture in here, journaling on top or another picture. I made it look so it, it's like a ceiling with a hanging bird cage and some butterflies all around it. You can tell this is from the bull bunny, etc. Um, stamp set. And then the back, it's some trim. It says all of us in a rub on. And one of the pieces she sent me with some trims, blanks, so she could add pictures. I'm just going to try to hurry it along. Oh, something stuck. Hold on. Let me put this down while I unstick what's sticking. I think it's this flower stem. Yeah. So this is the next two. And um, over here I, I made a pocket. I um, embossed this with a Tim Holtz embossing folder. This, this looks like it might be the bingo one added a dimensional butterfly here with some bling mm -hmm. and then some more bling on the side and then when you open it there are two pockets so there's a top pocket that has some tags and I added a charm to this tag and they're blank on the back they're just blank this is also from a can company um, collection and then there's a um, piece in the back that she could add a picture and then down here there's more um, tags and things and this is also from can company journal Giovanni's making a mess back here you guys do not want to know um, <laughs> times like these and it's blank in the back let me just take it out so you can see what that looks like there and then um, I made another tag here with a stamped butterfly bling charm that hangs off. Here's another tag that I stapled to this, Tim Holtz. This is a piece that I took out from a, a DCWV mod, a mod stack. I forgot um, exactly the name. Let me put this down. I'm sorry, I'm like being so messy right now. And then it just goes in there. See, closes out. And then this bird up here is a chipboard piece that um, she sent me. So I inked it up, I glittered it up, and I blinged it out, and I added it to this um, photo mount with a tag in the back, and she could add some journaling or pictures and whatever she likes so it hides back there and it looks like it's just a core I like those secret little pockets so this pocket I made with this um, lace piece that she sent and it was so pretty that I had to use both pieces she sent one big piece but I was able to make use it in two parts so here's a flower that I sprayed uh, I forgot what it was I used this was a while ago I know I sprayed a lot of these pieces like the butterfly I sprayed it I think that was Lindy's and here's a, a mount for photoing and she sent this uh, gorgeous gold um, trimming here's some more of that mod DCWV pieces of I would call it ephemera kinda so um, it kinda matches everything there's 
there this is our place in the sun so that goes in there and then here's another of the Tim Holtz journal tickets and then here's a tag I made looks very simple with a little charm on top she could add whatever she wants so then this um, tag pulls out and this is what it looks like this is a flower I made using her um, trims her brads, her flowers, here's a stamp that I used the back is distressed and it's blank and then the border that you see here she sent this, this fiber so I just used it as a border there's a lot more to go oh my, I better get quick on this okay here's a um, how you call this um, a baroque die on top of a baroque die so I used one of hers and I used one of mine covered it up Added, added this, I made this stick pin for her, added some flowers, added a butterfly. There's a little um, silver piece that says happy day. These pull out. This is a, uh, I think they're stuck. Here's a, a thing I, I printed out on the computer. Here's a tag that I made out of some chipboard she had with some bling so she could add some photo here. This trim here she sent me, I just um, distressed it a little, and this tag does not want to come out. And here's a tag also that she can use. Very cute. I'm trying to go quicker because I'm really out of time. Here's another um, one of those open um, pockets, and I just added the Tim Holtz fence die cut there. I, I stamped it back with some doily stamps and distressed it. I also embossed it in white and here's one of those. I think this is um, this is a uh, I am roses and here's another one of those tags with a gorgeous big flower and a big button. I think this is my button that I added there. It goes in the pocket. And then the back, there go the doilies again. On this side, it's just um, some flowers. This butterfly, I inked it up. I um, embossed it, and then I dry stamped on top of it. That's why you get that effect. It's like a doily butterfly. And then I add, cut out some of these heart um, um, gems from the... Um, from a, a trim and I cut them in four and I added for the center put some of that gold pearl and here's some tags in the back postcard ledger a flourish that holds it all down and then this tag pulls out what I did was I, I used my MFT dynamics for this and I uh, created a semi um, Part there, and this is some pearls, bling, crocheted, and some stamping. Oh. On this side, it's just a basic um, mount that I cut out with one of my dies, Sizzix. Here's a little ticket on the back, rose, a rose. Um, organza trim and here's some more of that fluffy stuff that she sent I added pearls added all this to the side over here I have this uh, mount area with some tags some more of those tags and then behind that is more tags and another envelope she could fill added some blinged out butterflies here's another tag that pulls out and this one it's got a numbers 1 through 10 so she can list anything she wants in here for journaling and then on the back you can add pictures or more journaling I'm just trying to go super quick right now last pages she's got some space for a picture she's got a ticket here flowers some trim on the bottom prima bling this pocket here was made with um, trim I added some tickets inside actually this is an envelope that I used from my stash 
And then this tag is the most gorgeous tag I've ever made. It's a mirror and a flower. And then this brooch, I got it from my stash. And here's the back. And it's so beautiful. This is my favorite tag. Added some trim. I added some of that gold flourish. And it goes right back into the pocket. And then it closes. And this is the back. So it's like that. Over here I'm going to add my name on this side and some more of that velvet pleated trim, a butterfly with a rose and bling in the middle. And that's it. This is the mini. It's not so mini and I'll be sending it to her this week. I'm so sorry it's late but um, I wanted to definitely record a video showing what I did with the mini. And um, I hope you guys were inspired. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And Jamie, I hope you love it. Because I do. Bye.